for this Dala, I'm going to be looking for pattern. I'm not going to be creating the Dala specifically from this little fish pouch, but I'm going to look for patterns, like the pattern in the zipper, the pattern in the dragon, this spiral of an eye, and probably the, the fish will show up in here too, possibly patterns from the flame. It's going to be more like, I guess, more like a Zen tangle of Adala, and a lot of you are probably familiar with Zen tangles. But I'm going to take an object and transform it even more by just pulling the elements of the patterns and shapes within it. First, of course, we start with our swooping line. going to begin with the zipper. I'm going to zip it right up along here. Notice that I'm making the shapes bigger as I approach the center of the circle. It's for no other reason than variety. What I like to do is transform the shapes, start making them into something a little bit different. And for that, I'll look back. Maybe I'll see if I can start to turn them into the scales of the dragon. And I think I'll end there. I wasn't going to, but I think now that I changed it into the dragon scales, I will. And here I'm going to go for the spiky pattern along the back of the dragon. You know, I've changed my mind. I'm going to do the spiky part along here. Continue the zipper over here, turning it back into a zipper again. the peacock feather in here. This I'm going to leave open and I'll I'll draw the borderline around here. And these two I'm going to focus mainly on the way that the scales are on the pouch.
is looking pretty empty. Okay, so I did not do the spiral of the eye. Maybe that's what I should do. So there's the fish, and now I just need some other lines. I'll take the lines from here, seaweed or something. There's my completed patterned dollar from this little coin purse. <laughs>